Hydrant number four, a complete, very detailed follow along. Just like the previous Hydrant one, Hydrant two, and Hydrant three, this is going to be a very detailed follow along. The first rep I will do as a demonstration, and then just the following three will be a, a very detailed follow along. Again, follow along to this video as much as you need to nail down this pattern. So I'm not going to go over a lot of small detail, but it's also up to you to use your eye and spot a bunch of small details as well. It's very powerful when you discover a lot of detail yourself and just not listen to somebody else tell you everything that's going on. All right, so first time will be a double, as if I'm doing in a grading or at a belt demonstration, etc. All right. First time, demo, time number four, to the And remember, after you key up and you finish your pattern, you will remain in that position until an instructor or a person that's running that class, that demo, that uh, grade, or whatever you're at, tells you the word plural, which means return. And we always start and finish our pattern from the tune B position. Now, before I start, as always, both hands are always doing an equal amount of work. Whether it's like a single chamber, a punch, a uh, double knife hands, a strike like that, they're pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time, both hands are doing an equal amount of work. And really make sure that you have a chamber. Alright, really focus on them. Alright, first time, follow along. To the chamber fast. This is the blocking hand. The blocking hand is palm forward, not like this. The non-blocking hand, which is still a block, is if you have one of these V-neck uniforms on, it sits right on that little patch. 
That pass is basically where your solar plexus is, so you're covering up your solar plexus as well as you do your next hand. So both hands have that snap factor. All right, second time. Two feet. Two past the right, back step, left to the right, walk down, step, right front step, right steer finger. Shake the back to the left, turn to the right, left back step, left to the right, walk, step to the left foot, left steer, from back. Left leg hand, followed by the next strike, all the same time. Now, where I go. Hand to the over. Front kick, left punch. Hand to the over. High kick, hand to the over. Side kick, double leg. Alright, look over to the left shoulder. Taper on the right shoulder. Left inner. Kick, bring the foot back, or a back kick. Right outer. Turn to your front stamp. The uh, right hand comes from the left shoulder. Inner. Kick back. Go back to the back stamp. Left hand. Outer. Turn over the left shoulder. Or step to the left. Left right hand. Right strike. Right front hand. Coming from the right hip. Back stamp. You need nothing on the nose. Chamber on the left, and then look to the left. Step on the left, left outer, right punch. Look to the right shoulder, from ten links around to the right. Right hand up, right outer, left punch. Look to the left shoulder, ten links towards the back. Left hand up, left front step, left outer, double punch. Right hand chamber, step to the right, right outer. Double clutch, see up, eye, and four up. Back to the two feet, and foul, and you can change the program. All right, did you see those little extra details that I pointed out the second time? All right, we're gonna do it one more time. Again, really pay attention as you're following along. Try and pick up on all the little details. All right, two feet. Chamber to the right, back stand to the left, foot forward, right foot off to the side, call forward. Walk to the left, step, right stair finger. Chamber to the left side, turn to the right, we're in the back step. My right foot pulls this way, left foot pulls this way. Double leg hand, block down, spear. Look to the front. Step to the left leg, left right hand, right strike. Now we're going to chamber over. We're going to have a right front kick, left punch. Chamber over to the right side. Turn in the foot, left side kick. Bring the hand over, turn the foot, side kick, double leg hand. We're going to back hand. Look from the left shoulder, left hand on the right shoulder. We're going to go left inner, front stand, kick back until the back stand, chamber on the right, right over. Right hand to the left shoulder, I look over my right shoulder, right front stand. I kick back, left hand chamber, left outer in the left back stand. Toe forward, toe side leg. Look over the left shoulder, left to the right hand. I got a right hand high claw. With the right hand strike. Now we're going to go front hand, right hand to the left hip, back foot. Left hand, snap and chamber at the same time. Look to the left, hand in. Left hand chamber, left front hand, left outer, right punch. Look over the right shoulder, hand in to the right, right hand chamber, step out, right front hand, right outer, left punch. Look to the left. Turn to the left, left chamber, left outer, right punch, left punch, chamber to the right side, right outer, double punch, seal, eye, and go. And now, lots, lots of little details, lots of little details. So, you 
just kind of follow along with that. Do it as many times as you need to to get all the little details down. It literally takes thousands and thousands of reps to get these patterns down to the key. And then even over time, you'll find that you'll like forget little details, you know, and like you'll rediscover it later on. You'll be like, you know, you'll be watching somebody else do it. And, well, wait a second, I'm not doing that anymore. Or whatever, right? You can't focus on other patterns and other parts of the curriculum and whatnot. So, really takes the time to develop your patterns to the fullest and really enjoy the process.